So in a lot of my magazine projects and pa my patterns that I sell as well on um, blog.pennydots.com, there's a link over there to my pattern shop, I use the term chain piecing. And what chain piecing is, uh, is a way of making lots of blocks at the same time. So if you know that you're going to be making, say, in my example, I'm making 36 of these blocks, um, you can make them all at the same time and it saves you time um, when you're putting them together. So I've actually started chain piecing some here. I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So I don't know how well you can see this, but I've used one strip of fabric. This is for a log cabin and I can get four blocks from this one strip. Let's just get this out of the way. And then when I move on to the next strip, I use just leave the thread, just keep on going, put the next strip underneath, keep sewing and add up more of these on. So I'm going to show you how that works in practice. So here's a strip, and I'm going to add some blocks to it. I tend to start a little bit further from the start of the block, and that's just so that I've got a little bit of space for the thread to clump up if it wants to do that. It's not going to affect the actual block itself. Put your foot down and just sew. See what I mean about that little bit of thread that might get stuck? Pull that out of the way, let's keep going. So, my needle's still down, I've still got the block in position. I'm just going to add the next block onto there, lining it up with the edge of the fabric. Still got a quarter inch seam there, and off we go. So this bit isn't long enough now uh, for me to add another block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my next strip. So I'm going to move the needle to the up position so that the thread can move freely under the machine. Push that out of the way. Put the next strip down. And then do exactly the same as before. So I've not cut this thread at all. We're just going to keep going. And that will actually mean that you won't have the problem with it knotting up at the beginning. And it also means that you're saving thread. Once all the blocks are sewn, you can then cut the thread. So now you have all of these bits together, what do you do next? Well, one thing you can do is roughly cut between the blocks. So these little gaps that you left between them, just cut down there, press them, and then trim them. I, well, I like to cut corners. So what I tend to do is, let me see if I can turn the camera around so you can see this flap. What I tend to do is take my scissors, use the line the, um, where the, the existing fabric is, use that line as my cutting guide, and then I tend to trim just along there. So you're trimming it flush with that edge. And then work my way along, make sure that I do that with everything, trim off the little excess pieces that you'll have on the ones that join it, like this, and snip the little pieces of thread between the different strips too. So when I've trimmed it, you've got flush edges on both sides, then I'll press it open and then that will um, be that block. And I'll do all 36 bits of trimming first and then do all 36 pieces of ironing and then you've uh, saved yourself a lot of time and a lot of thread too. <laughs>